What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. We all know that 50 Cent has this big issue with Diddy for a long time, and it seems to be sort of one-sided. You always see 50 Cent coming after Diddy. We really don't know why. He's done it on several occasions. But this clip is telling about 50 Cent talking about what did he do to Cassie. No. The n***a fuck, like he called, we should kick it. On the telephone and shit. After the main shit. Right, right. And, and then be like, matter of fact, they sent me the girl pictures. Like pictures of this girl, like, not the shit that y'all saw. Worse. Way worse. <laughs> wow. Are you kidding me, yo? Like, and, and nah, come on, man. Come yeah. on, Phil. <laughs> All that, and I didn't even, I didn't even, I called him. I said, yo, you really, you this girl, like, you really, like, you like her, like that? And he was like, yeah, that, that's my girl. I'm like, All right, I'm going to send you something. You look at it, you call me back. Oh, I man. sent him the photos, the pictures and everything. And then he called back and was like, yo, thanks, man. About us tonight, yo, I really appreciate that. Yo, where you get these shits from? And I said, you know, like, because they know, like, if something crazy is going on. And then we all know about, you know, what happened with the whole situation with Stevie J. And, you know, it kind of got out of hand. Diddy was saying that, you know, in the Little Rod lawsuit that Stevie J was getting his cheeks clapped. And then, you know, this came out from Stevie J. Curtis, what's good, man? You and your feelings about Daphne? Is she with gang them? Or is it that you sucking little rod? <laughs> However it go, I want you to fade. Fuck all that. Since it's entertainment, let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Curtis! Now, this ain't Stevie J's only time. Uh, You know, coming after 50 Cent about what he's been doing. So, many people thought that, look, 50 is upset with Diddy because of a baby mama issue. And I found out maybe something different. Diageo is the largest manufacturer of alcohol on planet Earth. For those of you who don't know some of the brands, let me just tell you who they are or what they are. If you've ever heard of Bailey's, Captain Morgan's, Samirnoff, Guinness, all right, um, Tango Ray, um, and then, you know, and they have local brands too in, in markets like here in Uganda, they have Uganda Wargi. All of those are under Diageo. They also own part of uh, Hennessy, all right? They're a small holder of Hennessy. But that's Diageo. And Diageo wanted um 50 cent to take over syrup all right now 50 cent was going to partner with syrup but diddy beat him out of that deal all right which would have cost and could have cost 50 cent a lot of money all right and that's kind of how it happens in the game you know what i mean a lot of dudes is underhanded like even look what the neptunes is going through right now the Neptunes, uh, Pharrell and the, I forgot the Asian guy, but they're going through a big issue about the naming rights to the platform because Pharrell allegedly is trying to take the Neptunes name from both of them, and, you know, and, and, and give it to himself. This is kind of what happens, right? And a lot of these guys pretend to be your friends and stuff like that, but they're not really solid. Oh, by the way, Johnny Walker is with the IGO. So really this is about money. Now, Ever since this has occurred, Diddy has sold his shares in Revolt. We know that. Um, he has completely uh, severed any partnership ties with De Leon. We also know that he's no longer affiliated with Ciroc. So guess who they want to be the brand leader? 50 Cent. So this is all, you know, hearsay. But wait a minute. But this probably might be an issue too because... 50 cents baby mama has just come out and said 
that 50 Cent graped her. I'm talking about it's like grape all over these goddamn streets. It's grape everywhere. All right, I just don't know what's going on in these streets. I don't know what's going on, but it seems to be a business deal, not personal. And again, I think anybody would be mad if, and again, Little Rod, uh, the producer, is most likely lying. He's probably not telling the truth. But again, like any dude would be mad uh, or could be mad that somebody is messing with his baby mom. It could be, you know, something that somebody would, you know, wouldn't be happy with. But when you're 50 cent and you can just get another woman whenever you felt like it, that's not a big issue anymore. It's just not a big issue anymore. I don't think that's a big issue. I, I really don't. Because, you know, for these guys, you know, ladies come and they go. We just gonna we just gonna call it for what it is. Women come and they go out of their lives. They're not tripping off of no woman not being it. All right. What I would be tripping off of is losing the opportunity like Diageo, and then seeing Diddy be so successful with Syrah, because it led to so many other business opportunities. You know, think about that. If you can get Syrah popping, what else can you get popping? I'll tell you, <laughs> you can get um, a whole lot of other big brands wanting to deal with you. Because once you make one good brand, you know, really pop off, all the other brands is going to be like, oh, shoot. Hey, I need to work with you, too. And that comes with, you know, brand deal money is 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 very, very, very lucrative. You know, um, uh, your boy LeBron had a very long term deal with McDonald's. Then McDon then LeBron, the only reason why he left the McDonald's partnership was to have ownership in his own pizza uh, company, uh, a franchise. So that was the only reason why he left that. And that is doing extremely well. So for guys who don't know about brand deals, man, and if you can get some kind of you know level of partnership or ownership, I mean, these guys do all the work and you help sell the product, right? Because most of these guys create all these you know, b uh, things in business and because they need somebody out there to sell it. And if you're the person that can come out and sell it, you're going to get all the money because sales is everything. You know, let, let, let us not get it twisted, bro. When you are doing this type of business, even on social media business, everything is about selling. Everything is about sales. Okay. If you're a person that can drive a product home and these guys both can do it. So, and Diddy is a slime ball. I heard when it comes to business like that, he will do anything for money. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Shady Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. Get your fall, you just scared the bell. We're out. Thank you.